Welcome back to Steve's Backyard. What you see in front of you is a one season old planting. These are jacaranda trees that were seeds given to me by a very good friend who lives in Southern California. I grew them all in little pots and at the start of this season, they were still in little pots. You know, I prepared the pot in March and I ended up putting them in here probably in early May. I kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. A whole nother topic. Um, two of them died. There were 13 originally, kind of like this. Um, two of them died, but I was able to take cuttings from the first from the first uh, uh, chop, put them along the back, and they kind of make a nice backdrop for this. So as you can see, it's getting pretty tall, and the time has come that uh, I must bring these indoors. So it's a good time to chop, but the question is, is it a good time to chop? And I'm afraid I don't know the answer to that. Although I've chopped it before, and if they're healthy, they send out new growth. Just as an example, I chopped this one back this season to here. The season before that to here. And you can see kind of what happens. It's all vertical, but if you see right here, if you zoom in on this area right here, you'll see that there are two little branches forming. I would have preferred if they went in a different direction, but I'll take it. This is a forest, so you got to maintain the distance between the plants as much as possible. So a little forward and backward action, if you can control it, is okay. So that's one of the things I'm going to prune away. Um, let's see if you can see this. Right here on this tree, there's some good branch growth right there. I'm thinking of chopping it to there. Now I've got a bit of a triangular shape beginning with this being my tallest tree. And I would probably make this tree my next tallest and this one a bit shorter. Keep that flow down. And on this side, Oh, let's just get started. All right, everyone, get a good look at it. Every time I prune my jacarandas, <laughs> I take a deep gasp because I pretty much cut everything off. And it has always, always, with great regularity, come back within two weeks I usually take little pictures of it <laughs> and uh, uh, marvel at the uh, uh, speed of growth. Oh. That's looking at it front on. All right. We're going to start with this tree. All of this from this crotch up is this season's growth. It bifurcated after I pruned it. I think I pruned it in August. And all of this is since August. These trees grow so, so fast. I think they come in bonsai kits, maybe because they're so easy to propagate. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. All right, here we go. does die back. Oh. 
This will propagate if I put it in water, but I have no room. What a crime. Uh, maybe I'll change my mind. Uh, I'm going to put it in some water. <laughs> okay. I should not do that. Okay, so I'm going to base the rest of my cuts on this cut. This one will be my tallest tree. And as I had pointed out, there are two very nice branches coming right off from there. So with a little room for dieback. Oh, God. These are beautiful. These are beautiful. I do want to point something out. I can get behind the camera and make sure I'm focusing on it. I think if you can see that muck I think that's from overwatering. Someone had suggested that it is the branch lignifying, but I've seen no evidence of that. So I do know that when I kind of flood what this is in and let it get water and everything perks back up in a day or so, I start to see that. Um, it's just something about jacarandas that I don't know yet. So if you guys know it, please fill me in. Looking like I can zoom up on this a little and still have everything in the frame. Okay, moving on. I had said I wanted this to be about even with this one. Um, this one about even and I need to look for a good place there to cut I see two good leaf scars right here And that one's gone. <sighs> this hurts. Okay. So that's this one next to it. Right here. Could be a little lower, and I see two leaf scars right there. So we've lowered that. I think I've mentioned this before. Doing these videos is giving me the courage I would not otherwise have. So thank you, I think. All right. Let's zoom up on this little problem tree right here. Okay. It's going to be a little difficult to work on. But I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. So we've, we've taken the tree just next to it down to about here. There's a perfect place to take this tree down to there. I think I'm going to do away with this middle branch entirely. 
and you know I guess kind of live with what this is giving me which is weird but doing this for the trees benefit not mine not true not true but for the mutual benefit all right so I want to cut that middle out or at least trim it down a little wrong tool but I'll fix it better later okay A much tamer look so I'm going to do that in fast motion around the rest of this planting and we'll come back and look at it one more time when it's done <laughs> So here is my jacaranda forest, completely pruned up. I'm a bit higher here than I want it to be, but I need to see if I get any further bud back. I'm a little bit leery about cutting this weak tree down that far. I've cut the growing tips off of all of the other trees. See, I missed one. And as I said, this tree has never disappointed me before. It always comes back strong. These trees, excuse me. Um, so it's going to turn out nice. I don't know if this is the final pot, but it's certainly one that... Uh, was not expensive and was readily available for me. I have moss growing on the one side, not very vigorously at the moment. And I wanted to show you a tiny little plant that I found at a local nursery. If you see something on the ground cover that looks like ivy, it's not. It's a ficus. I paid $8 for it because it looked so damn good. It's a ficus, so I thought because jacarandas are semi or subtropical that maybe they would grow well together. Um, don't despair that was a large piece that has finally mostly died off but not to despair i have some cuttings rooting and nigel did i hear you say that you were looking for some <laughs> ficus that could grow as a vine this might be it I also have a little more. So I'm hoping the cuttings root. And Nigel, I'd be happy to send you some if they did root. So that's all I'm going to do today to this jacaranda forest. It will certainly fit in the house now. If you like what you saw today, I'm very anxious to bring you uh, uh, more videos like this. I have a lot of trees to work on. I got a few more tropicals that have to be pruned to bring into the house, and I'm just going to continue doing it. So I'll be making videos, which I hope you will like, and I hope you will subscribe to my channel. 
Steve's Backyard Bonsai.